Hi everyone, this video is a quick update about a video I made. This is the original video, Blender configuration for ICC color accurate display with Ocho Aches. I uh, strongly advise to see this video to understand what's behind. But um, this video was made for Blender 2.93. Now there's Blender 4.1 available and some things have changed. And so I would like to address again this issue and explain it's almost the same thing, but uh, there are some changes that I want to explain here. The main difference is that now Blender has not only sRGB, but also Display P3. Let me zoom in. We can have Display P3 available. So for anyone with a wide gamut uh, display like this uh, Cintiq uh, is a, a good option, Display P3 because it's a standard with a wide gamut. And so if you have a wide gamut display, you can have colors more accurate on your display. But you know, every display is different. And so display P3 is just a standard. And uh, obviously your display is not exactly display P3. And if you have a colorimeter and you want color accuracy, you can configure Blender in the way that I've explained in this video to use your monitor profile. So if you have a colorimeter and you made a color profile for your display, you should have a file in this folder, system folder, system32, spool, drivers, color, is an hidden folder. So you have to write it down or enable hidden files viewability in Windows. But you can find your ICM file or uh, in this folder. When you have your file for my display is this created uh, by the color or profiling system. The method is uh, really simple. We create a 3D LUT, so a matrix of column transformation from display P3, in my case, because display P3 is the more accurate uh, representation of the display I have, from display P3 to your profile. If you have a display with an sRGB gamut, maybe it's better to follow this same procedure, but uh, using sRGB instead of display P3 as the source color profile. To do this, uh, we need a software provided with display color. I've already explained what DisplayCal is. It's a free software, so you can go and download it. It's not important if you use it for calibration of your display or not, but it has a, a small tool inside, 3D LUT Maker. So it's a, an application uh, that you find on your PC when you install DisplayCal. It's a software you can use to create a color transformation from one color profile to another. And so uh, here you have to choose uh, the source. For me is uh, display P3. And like I said, if uh, your display is more similar to sRGB, maybe it's better to choose sRGB display P3 for me. Here you have to choose as destination profile, the ICC profile you have in your uh, Windows folder. This file in our uh, Windows System 32 Spool Drivers Color folder. You just open it, this little icon, and you can go and, and take your file. Leave uh, these options like you see here. The most important is this. You can choose uh, SPI3D as a format and uh, relative colorimetric. Uh, uncheck uh, apply calibration and then you just have to click uh, create 3D LUT and it asks for a place where to, to save the resulting file. Just put it uh, where you want temporarily and uh, click uh, save. Now will take some seconds or some minutes, just wait. And uh, in the folder you provided, you will find several files, but you need just this Cintiq Pro 24 Display P3. I choose this name to show that's a, a conversion between these two spaces, but you can put your name and just take the SPI 3D file and copy it. You have to find your Blender folder and go in the version of Blender you have. You'll find the data files folder. Inside data files, there is color management. 
and uh, you'll find a config auto, uh, not this one. I created this, so you just found this file. And in the LAT uh, subdirectory, there is uh, some files. Here you can see a lot, but it's my setup. Uh, in your folder, you should have uh, some files. And here you have to paste the file. And so, like you see, I've pasted the SPY3D file here in this folder. Then you go up one folder and you open config auto to edit. So I use uh, notepad++. This is a text file. It's uh, written in YAML, so uh, you can choose YAML as a language just to, to have the colors and see it better. And uh, like I explained in the other video, you have to add a display section with the, your display. So uh, for me, is a copy of the display P3 because like I said, is the display P3, the, my reference uh, color space. And uh, instead you can also use sRGB, create a new section with the, the name of your display. So for me it's Cintiq. 24 Pro, you can write what you want. Please keep in mind that YAML is very strict. Uh, the minimal error can cause Blender to crash. Be very, very careful copying exactly everything. I copy these uh, four lines. I put it here. I don't use false color. So I use just standard and AGX and uh, row that you have to do nothing with row. Here you have to find a new name for your color space. So I can use uh, Cintiq24 Pro, uh, use your name. And here, uh, AGX Base and Cintiq24 Pro. Now this display must be listed in the active display section. So you can put it here. It doesn't show up until you write it down here. And also in active views, please take care that the names you choose here, standard, AGX, must be in this list. So if you want to change something here, add also to active view. I don't change it, so I leave it standard and AGX, and so I don't have to change nothing in active views. And now I have uh, to create these two color spaces. The first one, uh, it will be a copy of the display p3 color space so i just go and find the display p3 area so it's here i copy all the lines take care of all spaces uh, everything must be perfect so i paste it here uh, the name must be the name you have chosen so name name aliases i change a couple of these aliases but i i don't want to have all this list i just leave this couple of names you can put a description here you can write uh, what you want now if we leave everything like this this will be a copy of the original display p3 let's uh, do it as a check we have to copy also this one let's go find this AGX base display P3 section and copy paste it. I go down, down, uh, display P3, display P3. Let's find it. AGX base display P3. Okay. So I copy all those lines in the color spaces section with a new line no spaces in the line now i have to copy paste the name i've chosen here and so name the description for same thing pro 24 i leave it as it is just as a check so i save the file i have to close blender and reopen it if it opens uh, it means that uh, the file is okay. We didn't uh, make uh, errors. And so I always do this as a check. And uh, we can also try, I made this file mm, with a, a bright light and the rainbow of colors in this plane. So uh, now you see uh, I have sRGB, I have display P3, and I also have Cintiq 24 Pro. Let's see if it works, if Blender crashes or not. We have standard, AGX, and row. Now they are exactly a copy 
of display p3. We didn't change anything, just a test to see if everything was okay. Going back to the config ocho file, now the trick is to uh, transform the end of this uh, transformation, that's display p3, with our 3D LUT file in the final destination. We have uh, to add a line to this uh, children section and uh, we have to find uh, a file transformation. There are uh, some lines with the file transformation here. So if I go down, I have to find a line, file transform. I will find a line where there is not a cube, but an uh, SPY1D. Let's see this one. So I copy this line and I use it in my color space in the end. Here we have a, a display P3. Now we transform the display P3 with our transformation. So we have to put the name of the file we made with the 3D LUT maker. It's the file we put in the color management LUTs uh, folder of Blender. So this file for me, you will have your name. I copy paste the name of the file here. And uh, as interpolation, I just change it to best. I save and I have to create the, the same thing for the other AGX section. So in the end, the same line. And here, this is from scene, you see, from scene, from scene. We can just erase the two scene reference or instead uh, I, I try and put the, the file transform here. But in the end, since this is the inverse transformation to scene, uh, I put it before all the others. And uh, in the end, I write comma and direction inverse. I don't really know if this works. I think you can just uh, erase all this section, but just to be consistent, I created this. So now I save the file and I close and restart Blender. Now we can try, we have sRGB, we have display P3 and we have the new one. If uh, you didn't make any errors, Blender doesn't crash. And uh, now this uh, display device is your display device. So display P3, in my case, there is very little difference between the two, but I can see it. And also, instead of only standard uh, transform, if you made everything uh, okay, you can use AGX uh, and have a, a better representation of uh, very saturated and bright colors, like you can see in this example. The, you can find information on why AGX is better than previous filmic transforms on other videos. I don't cover it here, but uh, this uh, video was just to correct my previous one. So please, for more information, you can still go back here, but uh, follow this new information I provided about what to write uh, in the color Ocho file. I hope that uh, this uh, could be useful. Many people asked me to make an update uh, to my previous video. And so thank you for watching and goodbye.